Right, welcome back, guys. Um, right, as, as promised, I did say I was going to put pro mods on, and I have done. Um, and guess what? He transported me back to Cambridge, so our next job is going to be back from here. Now, I've just spent 10 minutes looking around my lorry cab, looking for the radio, thinking, how do I turn it off? And then I thought, I haven't got a radio. Then I realised that it was coming from outside. Now, there's a chap there and he's having a right jolly old time. He's dancing and bopping and jumping and jiving and I thought, hmm. Cambridge has really gone downhill since, uh, since our last year. But, I mean... He seems to be having fun. He's got his tunes blurting out. Jumped out of his car having a little jive about. So get on with it, young man. Right. Anyway. Let's have a look. Let us have a look for a job while we're here. We'll start from Cambridge again. Right. As you can see, like you said, we've got pro mods on. So we the world is now our oyster. We've got Ireland. We've got Iceland. We've got a lot more Finland and also, I believe, we've got a little bit of Spain there as well. Yes. So, hey ho. Right, let's click on Cambridge and see what we've got. Oh, there, there we go straight away. Look, Cambridge to Wexford in Ireland. So, that'll be a good... And we're going from E Acres again. Let's do it. It's a nice uh, 22 gram for the kitty. Let's give this guy a rooty tooty while we go by. Why not? Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Leave him be. He's happy. He's having a little midnight jive. Yeah, we're actually sat there and I'm thinking, what the hell is the music coming from? Uh, and like I said, then I realised you were having a little boppy jaff. So, <clears throat> I've also, as well, guys altered my uh, readout now so it's all in kilometers <laughs> straight away you notice that uh, the scenery is a hell of a lot better when you've got pro mods on I mean bear in mind we did the same run to E Acres in Cambridge on the last one and how different it looks now. I do like the uh, Pro Mods update, guys. It's absolutely awesome. But we have still got us penalties on, so we've got to stop. Even though there's not a car on the road. Well, apart from that one. Oh, we're going to Agro Vista this time, not E Acres. Mind you, I did forget I have put... Um, like I say, I put the old J... Can we actually alter our trailers to something different? Oh, yeah, let's have a look, see what we've got. Whew. We've got Wincanton, Pro Mods. Shall we have a Pro Mods trailer? Yeah, we'll put a little piggyback on her, why not? There we go. 
change our trailer to a Pro Mods one. I think we're a little piggyback forklift on. Makes us look a bit more professional when we've got a fork truck on the back. You know when you have that funny feeling more that all these fork trucks are going to be a pain in my ass. Right, we're good to go. We've got 20, 22,000 tons of empty pallets. And we're going from Cambridge to Wexford. So let's do it. It's a pretty good haul. But unfortunately, it's all on the left hand side of the road, but never. She looks really nice with our old Promus trailer on. And there's my little fork truck look, doing nothing. It's quite a big fork truck actually, that on the back end of my truck. But remember, I've got another six foot behind me. do find the uh, the Pro Mods edition a lot more challenging driving wise because there's a lot more little obstacles to get around than uh, on the ordinary vanilla map. She's a bit steady away this morning. She feels like she's pulling a bit of weight behind her today. Straight to London. Here we go. Right, let's get a wound up. And we're good, we're sat there. Let's get a wound up to speed because we can go right up to 90 now. And we have got 752 kilometers left, which is really good. So it'd be a nice little run, this. I mean, bearing in mind, we've got to do a ferry crossing as well, guys. So that is actually took into consideration in the mileage. Oh, just thought I'd just have a nip onto the hard shoulder there. Need to keep in the old right hand lane because we're going right round. Oh, 
put a window down when a little bit warm. There we go. Oh, that horn sounds tacky. As per usual, when you're in a lorry, all the cars are whizzing past you like you're not even there. Let's check that. They have a good, they're not coming. We'll have that lane then. Why not? That's it with Vitter's Limiter. Need to be back in other lane. I think I might just stay in this lane anyway because we're going to be in, out, in, out, checking it all about. As you do. Just makes sense, like I say, gives you a bit more normality. the old automatic engine brake on just to make sure we don't drift over just in case we happen against the camera Nice fells LB, nice one. Right, I believe we need this left hand lane now. Not that we're going to London Heathrow. Left hand and then keep right, I believe. It's a bit of a rare. Uh, Bad corner. Well, at least the sleep patterns are, are uh, molded in quite well with the. Oh, sneaking a pot inside of me. Very naughty. Nearly squashed him. Would you buy check that mirror at the last opportune moment? <laughs> I just need to work on the uh, the engines a little bit on this game when cars come past you. They all sound like we're doing, uh, doing the revs at maximum. Don't know whether they need a reality check or what, but cars don't sound like that these days. 
Sounds like we're all going down the motorway in second gear. Yeah, behind me, don't know which lane I want to be in. He just moved out to the third lane, but I think to get out of my way, I think he thought, hey, we've got one here. Now he's decided to tuck in behind me. No, nope, he's back out again. Well, nice little run across country. I believe we're travelling up through Wales and then get on the ferry across to Ireland. I think that's the way it's taking me. Let's have a look at the old route. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, up to Fishguard. Up, so we're going through by Cardiff, by Swansea. Up to Fishguard, onto the ferry, and then at Wexford. Job done. Right. Carry on, man. So it's not going to be a massive uh, ferry journey, but it's a little bit of one. Well... Current month's coming up, so I'll turn the old headlights off. Might be a bit premature, I'll just put the uh, side lights on for now. As the old little piggy piggyback truck. Just move back into inside view and then that car can get by behind me because I'm bobbing and weaving all over when I'm on outside view. I do believe we're creeping up on these two. You can see straight away the variation I'm getting in trailers now on the road is a lot better. I'm glad I put the old trailer packages on, guys. I think we're going to have to go for the overtake. I ain't losing my momentum for nobody, so let's pull out. Let's do it. Takes one. I'm sure we can get up and get past this. I think it's an Ikea truck. Oh, Tesco's just come by, look. Oh, it's coming back up on me inside now. Yeah, be gone, Titted. No, it's an IKEA back. Is it an IKEA? Yeah, it is an IKEA trailer, yeah. I'm just looking at the side of it, then thinking, that's a bit weird. But it's doing a bit of advertising, I think, for the old IKEA. Luckily, we can stay on here because we're a bit knackered at the moment. Right, all three done. Luckily one of them were turning off, so we slowed the other two down. Well, 
which is always a nice sign, especially when you're trying to overtake them. So we want to be going to Sir Wales, or Swales, or South Wales. That's a big golf ball. Basically to be teed off by a giant. Right, are we going to flick over or are we going to stay here? I think we'll stay here because that lorry looks like it's travelling really, really slowly. Just keeping one eye on that lorry and one eye on my speed limit just in case I drop. I've got a funny feeling it's going to drop at these signs, is it? No. You know, the only problem about it, playing this game is whenever I play it, I just sort of start yawning for some strange reason. But saying that, when I'm in real life driving in the car, I do exactly the same. So it's probably just a reflex. Was it Wales? Was in Wales and I can't do a Welsh boyo accent. You alright there, boyo? There you go. Best Welsh I can do. Like I say, I'm not going to do an accent every time I go into a different country because I'm going to get knackered soon. You've just had my best two accents anyway. When I said just had my best two, one were in the previous episode, I know, but that's me all out of accents now, unless we end up in Scotland. Quite fortunate I've got a Scottish buddy that'll help me out with a few uh, a few words like heel and coo and stuff like that. been on, on to an interesting story as a child when we once visited Scotland um, we were sort of went up towards Loch Lomond Way where, which is what just outside Glasgow and uh, it was um, we went to obviously get our accommodation and the, uh, the lady in the shop that sort of well in the shop in the reception sorry that handled the accommodation was as old and as Scottish as she could ever possibly be. And she just, bear in mind, I mean, me, my parents, one of you were all Yorkshire born and bred. So we can't talk properly anyway. Um, and we turned up with this woman and she just sort of sat there and went, Oh, it's a wee bread net tonight, isn't it? And we all just looked at each other as if to say, uh, What just happened? <laughs> And then obviously we started speaking back to her and obviously she had the same look we just had. And it was what you call a very long and painful process just trying to sort the accommodation out for the uh, for his holiday. <laughs> but I must say it's one of the best places and it's a lovely countryside in Scotland. So you can't hold it against them because they can't talk properly guys. Just thought I'd share that with you while we're driving down the road here. Why not?
Oh, the old automatic retarder just kicked in. That's noise. Keeps the speed limit where I've set it. That's one good thing we need. Let me kick in the old gonads. And speeding tickets. Let's move into the middle lane because I think the first lane is going to disappear in a moment. Right, I'm thinking we're going to perhaps do another overtake. Yeah, yeah, I can feel one coming on. Let's do it before that car just cuts. Oh, it's too late. No, it's not. His lane is out. We're good. I will go into actually whiz out when I remembered I've got a piggyback truck on back of my trailer. So even though I would have missed him with trailer, I'd have completely sideswiped him with the fork truck. It's a nice run down the M4 today. Roads are pretty quiet, so it's not too bad. What we're doing like for rest. If we can get to the ferry, we might actually be able to rest on the ferry. And just take us sleep quarter down a little bit, which would be nice. Oh, coming up to a roundabout. And we're off. This is us heading towards Carnarvon. I think that's what it said on the uh, signpost, anyway. This is where our lorry will get a proper little workout now, put down the uh, valleys in Wales. Yeah, he did say Carmarvin. I'm going to say thank God for that. I thought I'd read it right. I'm not even trying to pronounce a top name, but we're on the sign. We have got what 243 kilometers left which is good um i believe this job's worth uh although i'm just having a look on the other screen about twenty two thousand, i believe i got it i had actually got the price of the job on there not the weight of the job but it's that 22 uh, it's twenty two thousand kilograms sorry i can't remember what the job's worth at the moment guys all i know is we've got 231 kilometers before we get there Oh, and I'm going to end up in grass if I'm not careful looking at the wrong screen. We're off on the slow road to China. Come on. No, don't do it. Oh, we've got a crawler lane. Boy, we need it.
I'm going to say I bet speed limit's going to drop down to 80 because we're on a single carriageway and it has. So we'll be end up with a big stream of traffic behind us. Oh, really? Really? You're going to do that, are you? Oh, my word. Right, just coming to Haverford West and right right at this roundabout. I want to say we've got that far to go now before we actually uh Oh we're gonna have to stop our way. Best to and have a look. Yeah, there's no there, we're good. Always better safe than sorry when you get to roundabouts. And we'll get it wound up once more. Ready for this roundabout. And then we'll get it wound up again, ready for this roundabout. It's all roundabouts here. But you can see straight away why I said TV Pro Mods is a lot more challenging. And it is. It took the trailer out there. I'm not even going to bother engaging my cruise control because I'm going left at the next roundabout, which is just literally up the road here. Well, we've actually just seen. I wonder if I can. He's not going around. Oh, that coach is doing some stupor. We're round. That's good. Let's get some power wound on. Till we get to the next roundabout. Oh, there you go, we've got a ferry pitching now. Oh, we're actually in Fishguard. We're actually, what, half a mile in that set of a ferry? Not sure whether that's our ferry or not, but yes, it is. Lovely little place. I think I just missed my turn, I did.
It's all right, I'm a stranger around here. It's the first time I've been to Fishguard. To let me off. Hopefully I can get around here without doing too much damage to me load. There we go, we're good. Turn the old hazards off now. I'll know if I'll, I'll know about that one for next time. Hmm. It's a ferry low, just in front. Look at all these cars waiting. Oh, and I've got like a VIP pass. I've got a funny feeling I've just gone the wrong way. Or am I meant to go that way and then come back round? I don't think so. I'm not behind me, have I? No. No. I will have in a minute. Oh, you're having a. I'll, I'll have to go round. A policeman has decided he's going to stop me. He must. He obviously read my mind to see what I was going to do. And thought, ha ha, you ain't doing that, son. Hmm. I believe I got done by the copper. Suppose it's all in the interest of keeping a little contra flow system going. Watch my lorry, please. Why we can't just go around there, I don't know. Oh, I just managed to squeeze around that one, all right. Bit of a long window. Oh, just starting to yawn. Just couldn't time that any better if I'd have tried. Right, let's do a ferry journey then. Um, shall we go to the Roslair Europort? I think it's a good place to go, seeing as though that's the only... Oh, it's worth 12,336, this. Right, what we got? Oh, it not take us up to a nice 24. Right, we're still driving up left, apparently. Just reset me chappy a little bit, enough to get me where I'm going. I've got another 28 kilometres left. Look at you lot walking on grass. I have to put a message into Pro Mods to finish your pavement. It's a bustling little village. I believe I were allowed to do 80 through that village. Ah, oh, well. If we're allowed to do 80, 80 is what we will do. No, but I don't think it's advisable down these little bendy windy roads.
Here we are at Wexford. Didn't take long. Oh, I think we've got a daft dealer up in front. And we're here. Right, let's have a look, see where we're at. Oh my word. Right, can we get that side? Yeah, we can. I wonder if we can do a yoga down there. Let's have a go. Oh, it's no problem. Look, got loads of room. This is one of the more easier places for pro months. <laughs> I don't normally make it this easy for you, but hey, take it while it's there, guys. That's completely going offline, so let's just readdress it. So let's get that trailer swung over. Right, chuck the old trailer off. See if we can make level four. Pating. Nice one. Right, so we'll put that one onto fragile cargo because we're working down the list. So, right, there you go, guys. Once again, we've done our first abroad delivery to Ireland. And we have now got 25,000 in our kitty, so we might be able to buy some little bells and whistles on our next episode. So, don't forget to click the subscribe button, guys. And hit the like button if you like what you're seeing. And I will see you soon, guys. Like I say, bye-bye for now.